Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 BMW X7 M50i, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like share and subscribe to my channel when it comes to luxury suvs there are few that can compare to the 2021 bmw x7 this vehicle is one of the prime examples of bmw craftsmanship and engineering and the bmw x7 configurations which come in three varieties give you a wealth of great features no matter what trim you pick the x7 is bmw's biggest suv a class up from the mid-size x5 the X7 is a large luxury SUV that comes standard with three rows of seating. Since it's larger than the X5, the X7 has more room in the third row and accommodates big families a bit better. For 2021, the X7 lineup has been simplified, leaving just three models in the range. Base model X7 X-Drive 40i, which has a starting MSRP of $74,900 rides on 21 inch wheels and is equipped with full led headlights daytime running lights and fog lights under the hood of the 40i is a three liter inline six that develops 335 horsepower and 331 pound feet of torque the cabin is upholstered in sensatec with 16 way power heated front seats and three rows with power folding rear seats. Standard features include quad zone climate control, dynamic cruise control, a 12.3 inch driver info display, blind spot monitoring, remote engine start, and a panoramic sunroof. The infotainment suite comprises of a 12.3 inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HD radio, Sirius XM, and a 10 speaker sound system. The X7 M50i has an MSRP of $99,800 and looks a bit different with the larger 22 inch wheels and aerodynamic kit. The M50i gets a 4.4 liter V8 putting out 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Inside it replaces the Sensatec with leather interior laid over 20-way power adjustable multi-contour front seats. The infotainment is upgraded with a 16-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Beneath the surface it has M Sport parts like a Sport differential and exhaust system. To get the highest output engine requires ordering the 612 horsepower Alpina XB7, which costs almost twice as much as the base model, but delivers the excess expected by those who can afford it. Okay, let's jump to this build and price review of the 2021 BMW X7. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. I've put together some other uh, build and price reviews that I think you might be interested in if you're taking a look at this X7. Uh, I did the 2020 Volvo XC90 T6R design. I love that SUV. It's a very nice SUV. I also did the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS 580. I did the 2021 GMC Yukon SLT. And just for fun, I'm throwing in the 2020 BMW X5M, also a very nice SUV. So after you watch this video, make sure you check out one or two of those other videos as well. Okay, so before we actually click this tab that says build, before we price out and build and price our uh, 2021 X7 M50i, let's find out about the features, let's check out the colors, let's go through the gallery, let's look at the interior, all that good stuff. So first things first, let's check out the exterior colors for the uh, X7 M50i. We can also do a virtual 360 walk around of the exterior. It's a very attractive SUV. You know what? I have yet to see one of these X7s on the road, honestly. Uh, so this color here is called Mineral White Metallic. Then we've got uh, Alpine White. It's not going to look much different. You know, Alpine White. We've got Carbon Black Metallic, which really has blue in it we've got the black sapphire we already saw that one we got the the blue metallic the phytonic blue if i'm getting that right we've got the arctic gray we've got the tanzanite blue it's very like a royal blue to me and then we have uh ametrin metallic some shade of red well it says sold out here but i guess there was a limited edition there was a limited edition called the BMW X7 Dark Shadow Edition. It's an individual, right? Individual is upgrade, uh, upgraded paints and leathers and, and veneers like woods and stuff like that. Uh, apparently, it's sold out, but I just want to brush over the fact that there is a Dark Shadow Edition lurking out there somewhere. 
All right, let's find out about the comfort features of the 2021 BMW X7. They say it's got grand accommodations, generous configuration, premium features, uh, spacious freedom. Boy, those are some big statements. So let's check it out. Okay, so they're letting us know that uh, the second row bench seat is standard, and that's what give us gives you your seven-person seating capacity. Or you can opt for the optional six-seat configuration with all-electric captions chairs. Either way, they say there's plenty of room for everyone in this spacious SAV, which I think stands for Sports Activity Vehicle. Look how nice those seats are. They're absolutely beautiful. A couple other features here. They're talking about the air suspension. So uh, you got the standard two-axle air suspension uh, that gives you incredible driving comfort, while the adjustable height allows for easier entry and loading. Then they talk about the comfort seating, which is very nice. Standard heated front seats can be made even more comfortable with available ventilated and massage options. And then you can also uh, get the optional heated rear seats as well. Okay, that, so that was some comfort features of the 2021 BMW X7. Let's find out about technology. All right, you got the connected cockpit. That's the BMW Live Cockpit Professional. It's the integrated 12.3-inch central information display, touchscreen, and digital instrument cluster. There it is. That's standard on the X7. No matter what you get, you're getting this. Uh, then you got the Hey BMW. This is standard voice-activated BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant. So, you know, it's voice activated, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, then you got the standard remote engine start, which is very cool. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Here they're talking about the extensive set of standard safety features like active blind spot detection, frontal collision warning with city uh, collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and more. And lastly, another feature they're talking about, another technology feature, is advanced parking technology. So there's this BMW's parking assistance package. It includes a uh, surround view with 3D view and an innovative backup assistant. So it, it can help you uh, park and do all those kinds of things. All right, so that was technology features, and then we already covered the comfort features. So let's talk about the luxury features for the 2021 X7. You've got the standard panoramic glass roof which is very nice, very, very nice. It says illuminated by the color-changing splendor of the optional panoramic sky lounge LED roof. And as you can see, it's changing colors right before our eyes. You see how it works. You've got the optional glass controls on the gear shifter and engine start button uh, that accentuate the standard haptic feedback buttons. So that means when you touch the buttons, they give you a little vibratory feeling. That's kind of like the Cadillac Q system from back in the day. I don't think the Cadillac Q system does uh, haptic feedback, but it used to. So, yeah, optional glass control. Then they talk about bespoke style, right, the highest standards if you want the available BMW individual uh, includes the finest leathers, exclusive colors, gorgeous interior trims, all custom added to your specification. Let's actually take a little, uh, a closer look at what BMW Individual means. Now, I actually have a video on, on BMW Individual, but you know what? This is only going to take a hot second, so it's, it's real simple. They give you exclusive colors. If you get a BMW Individual, now you get some exclusive colors. Uh, things like ruby black metallic, tanzanite blue metallic. You see a change in colors there. You can get matte or metallic. You can get a, you know, you know the frozen bronze look and things like that. If you're into the matte finishes, this is where your matte finishes lie in the individual colors. Uh, you got a broad palette of paint finishes. All right, it's really up to your imagination. So you can get real serious with that. Uh, you've got individual interiors, custom leathers. All that kind of stuff. Full merino leather, Alcantara, uh, fine way, uh, fine grain woods, even silk. Uh, and yeah, you've got all the, the fine wood. And so yeah, that's what BMW Individual is all about. It's about taking it up to the next level as far as craftsmanship, uh, exclusivity, things like that. Let's check out the gallery really fast. Looks like there's about 22 images here. They're showing the Alpina. It's very nice. We're not going to really stop to read all of that, but we could just take a look at the features. They're going to give us some close-ups of everything. The wheels are nice and big on every model. There's your uh, standard uh, M50i wheels. I said I wasn't going to stop to read everything, and there I am reading. Good-looking SUV. It's big. Very, very big. Very big, bold front end. There's your cockpit, live cockpit. 
beautiful seats. Love that. It's very nice. There's your uh, eye drive. There's your third row of seats that you can fold down. Is that navy blue in the interior? If it is, that looks fantastic. And a navy blue headliner or two on top of it. Wonderful. Love it. Looks wonderful. There's your optional glass controls. And yeah, you get it. There's our 22 photos. Let's move on. All right, we've actually gone through all the features. Let's jump into the build. I've already got it pulled up on the configurator. So here we are. We've got it, uh, our X7 M50i with our starting MSRP, 99800 We're sitting at our, our paint colors right now. Every paint color is a no-cost option except for these two uh, individual colors. you got the Tanzanite Blue Metallic, which is an individual color, I believe. Uh, well, at any rate, it's, 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 it's $2,000. And then you got the Amatrin Metallic. Well, fortunately, I'm not really crazy about uh, any of these colors. I don't know why that's... We don't really want to view more of that. Let's click that off. I do kind of like this blue here. This Phytonic Blue Metallic does kind of look nice. But, you know, it's kind of a novelty color for such a big SUV. I could possibly get tired of seeing that day in and day out. Let's go with the Alpine White. Let's just go with the Alpine White for now. I'm not really crazy about any color, so we're just going to leave it at that. Alpine white it is. Let's go on and let's choose our wheels. So we've got the standard 22-inch wheels, uh, V-spoke, cerium gray wheels, performance run flat. That's those wheels there. Let's see what these 22-inch Y-spoke wheels look like, though. Do I like the Y-spoke wheel a little better? Actually, you know what? I think I do. And now we can get a closer look at that Y-spoke wheel. And look at that. We can even do a spin around of that Y-spoke wheel. Now, this is a high-end website. I like that. All right, so we went with the uh, Y-spoke wheel instead. We're still sitting at 99.8, so we haven't done anything that's costing us any extra money so far. Let's move on to the upholstery. Uh, where are we going to be at with the uh, – we got the black leather. They've got, uh, they've got this beige that's cool. they got a coffee. I like to call it brown. They've got a cognac which is actually pretty nice, and they've got black. This is your uh, Vernasca leather, and then they've got Merino leathers down here. This is going to be plus $1,000 if you want, say, black Merino leather. Ah, that's where you get that custom stitching in it. So let's take a look at that real fast. So you load our 360 interior, and we can get a walk around of the interior. Note here that we do not have the glass controls on that shifter. No glass controls. There's your side screens. Wow, that looks pretty good. I'm glad we went with the merino leather. All right, let's move on. Next, we need to choose our veneers, our trim. Uh, we've got the fine line blackwood trim. The other ones are some individual. we got the uh, individuals. I don't care about those colors. I don't want to pay $1,000 for some wood trims I don't really care about. I wish I could find carbon fiber, but I can't. So let's just do this fine line blackwood. I'm okay with that. Uh, it seems all right. Let's move on to options next. And so what's that going to give us here? Uh, the cold weather package, that's where all your heated seats and all that stuff's going to lie. So let's let's take a, cold, a look at that. Five zone automatic climate control, uh, front and rear heated seats. All right, let's go ahead and add that to the build. Close that tab. What's the dynamic handling package? We're probably not going to get it. Integral active steering, active comfort drive with road preview. No. Um, driving assistance professional package at $1,700. What's included? Uh, extended traffic jam, active driving assistant pro. No, not, nothing like that. Luxury seating package, uh, front ventilated seats, front massaging seats. Nope, don't need that. Uh, what's the executive package for $1,300? Panoramic sky lounge, LED roof, glass controls, heated and cool cup holders. All right, I guess I'm in on that. I'm in on that. We got that. Uh, what else is there? There's other options down here that's showing us everything. Uh, trailer hitches, leather dashboard. Wow, the leather dashboard's just $850? let us do the leather dashboard. I'm down for that. Uh, the M Performance brakes with black calipers. Nah, we don't need to change the color of the calipers. I do want to do the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Uh, and I guess that's it. Second row captain's chairs. Would I want the captain's chairs or the bench? Maybe I want the bench seat. Let's just leave the bench seat in there. I'm okay with that. Let's move on to the summary now. So what do we... We start out at, what, 99,008? Yeah, we start off at 99,008, and here we are at 107,450 to get our 2021 BMW X7 
M50i. There it is. So on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.